I mentioned uh, right at the end of the last hour, the biggest winner in all the Olympics over everybody, even if Team USA wins the gold medal, Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg is the big winner. He's kind of the co-host here. Now you're going to have the games go to L.A. in four years in his backyard. And I think NBC had a great investment having Snoop Dogg as one of their hosts. I thought he did a great job. Uh, of course, paid reportedly $500,000 each day to show up. I mean, you're going to have to pay me to go see maybe equestrian, you know, dressage. But uh, he was there. He was dressed up. He was having fun. He was engaging. Went to a lot of these sporting events, uh, engaged with the athletes, and I think he had the best Olympics out of anybody. And you talk about a career. <laughs> you didn't see this happening with Snoop Dogg. Not, you know, 15 years ago, 20 years ago. Now, all of a sudden, he's America's darling out there. <laughs> right? like, like, if you're 15, you're going, man, that dude is cool. Now, if you're 35 or 40, you're like, damn, talk about a career comeback here. Yes, Marv. It's amazing when you see guys like Snoop and Ice Cube also, where it's like, wait, this guy right here was <laughs> not supposed to be, like Ice Cube wasn't supposed to be in Are We There Yet, the children's movie. Yeah. And Snoop, like my son knows who's, who Snoop is. He doesn't know murder was the case, Snoop, when <laughs> Snoop was literally on trial for murder. Yeah. Like he doesn't know that Snoop. He just knows the fun-loving Snoop with the dreads and, you know, we're just hanging out, going to the Olympics. It's insane. But that's what happens when you're around for 30 years. Experience the Olympics uh, like you've never seen them before, of course, primetime in Paris tonight on NBC and Peacock. Yes, Tom? You wouldn't have put Snoop and Martha Stewart together? You wouldn't have come up with that? I idea? would not, but I remember it was Snoop and Lee Iacocca from Chrysler. I think they did a commercial as well. That's the first time it was like, wow, we're going to really try to cross over. And then all of a sudden... You know, he and Martha Stewart are – Martha ends up going to prison. Snoop's not, you know. Like if you just said, hey, one of these two is going to prison, and be like, well, of course it's going to be Martha Stewart, insider trading. Yes, yes, he. That's why I'm just like endlessly tickled watching the Olympics. And, you know, we get 24-hour-a-day coverage now. You can turn it on any day you want. So there's a million different hosts. And every host, whenever they're teasing the Snoop Dogg segment coming up, Crip walking through Paris. Yeah, 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 <laughs> That'll be fun. <laughs> you're like, are you listening to what you're saying? It, it truly is just one of the more remarkable things. Snoop Dogg, I wonder if he'll crip walk over to the uh, 400 <laughs> meter race later. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. But you almost have to have somebody translate some things just it's to, a, to the, let. We're not doing the electric slide over there. No. Where there's like, no, it's, it's called crip walking. <laughs> Um, he's the big winner. He's the big winner. Got that blue bandana hanging yeah. out the left side, only on his left side, <laughs> whatever, whichever side it is. Oh, my God.